I love those old cinematics, man. That was cool. I like that. That was pretty neat. Alright, welcome. We're going to be playing Neverwinter Nights Enhanced Edition. Uh, just so everyone's tracking, we're doing the D&D uh, Hardcore Rule Set. So we're just one difficulty above normal, but not the max difficulty. From my understanding, it's just increased damage, and I'm not all about that, but I am all about doing the core rule set. So, we'll see how far we get and, you know, in our endeavors. But for now, it is time to create a character. And as with most games, my first playthrough, I typically like to play a paladin, so I feel like that's what we're going to do. Further playthroughs we might expand, because I am interested in trying some other characters. Uh, but we'll see, we'll see, we'll see how it plays out. I'm not going to promise anything. Manage your expectations. So. What do we do here? Manage. What is this? New. Special? Ah, okay. Classic campaigns. Gotcha. So. I've played this before. We didn't get really far. And it was about 20 years ago. So bear with me. I don't remember making it past the starting city. So, I believe this would be the first one. Extra content. There's a lot of stuff here. Alright. Okay, so we could just pick wherever, eh? A locked. Gotcha. Alright, well, we'll start, you know, at the, at the beginning. So, you find yourself at the center of an intrigue betrayal. A dark magic in Neverwinter Nights. Journey through the dangerous cities, monsters filled and monster-filled dungeons and deep into uncharted wilderness in search of the cure for the cursed plague ravaging the city of Neverwinter. The Wailing Death is the original campaign, taking place across four chapters and a prelude. It showcases many of Neverwinter's night's original features across many geographical areas, with a large variety of characters, quests, and villains. Alright. Over range 1 to 20. Yeah. It seems like you're able to play with other people, which is pretty cool. I never never really explored this game. I was more into uh, Baldur's Gate, Icewind Dale kind of thing. So, I am excited. Oh, we got some more stuff here. The game opens. The once mighty city of Neverwinter is a hive of panic and terror. Thousands have died from a mysterious plague called the Wailing Death, and thousands more are infected. With the risk of an epidemic spreading across the face of Faerun, the Lords of Neverwinter declared a quarantine and shut the gates to all travel, trapping sick and healthy alike inside the city walls. Lady Erebeth D. D. Here. Now, oh my god, has issued a call to all adventurers within the city, asking them to keep order and help her find a cure. Promises of honor and riches have been have drawn many to Erebeth's side, but all for naught. The plague spreads with every passing day and sweeps through the poorer quarters of the city like a flash fire. Many would-be heroes have fallen, and no cures in sight. Okay. Let's start. Hello? Is there more? Okay. Yeah. Company the game tutorials and objectives. The Frozen North, a name given to the stark and unforgiving frontier that lies beyond the high moor muir of Faerun. A bleak... Are we just... Because we, select, we selected prelude, right? So if we hit start, it goes to prelude. I see. Okay. Where were we? But amidst the frozen savagery stands a bastion of civilization, the city of Neverwinter, Jewel of the North. Behind the city's high walls, those both hardy and brave carve out an existence in this bleak land under the guidance and protection of the legendary hero, Lord Nasher Alagondor. Yet, there are some things that all the courage in the world cannot stand against. The virulent plague slept, swept the city, a terrible affliction that became in the beggar's nest. Soon, all of Neverwinter would feel the touch of the wailing death. The disease could not be cured. Panic ensued, the streets erupted into violence. The Jewel of the North was brought to its knees. To save Neverwinter, Lady Arabeth, Paladin of Tyr, and Lord Nashir's right hand put forth a call for a champion. A rush of would-be heroes answered her call. Drawn by the promises of grandeur and glory, others by the lure of gold. 
Those with the greatest potential were initiated into the academy to train and study under the greatest minds of Neverwinter, all in the hopes that a champion would emerge to save the city from the Wailing Death, and whatever sinister force might be behind it. Play now? Ah, there we are. Alright, so we are going to make a character. Let's see here. Well, we are going to go female, as per our typical. And excel on any fields they endeavor, from scholarly pursuits to the arts of war. Perfect. We like humans for our first. Talons, I believe... I don't know if they can... if they've changed that later on. I don't know what rule set this is. Anyway, regardless. Humans are the most adaptable of all the common races, short generations, and a pen penchant? For migration and conquest means they are very physically diverse as well. Skin shades, shades range from nearly black to very pale. Hair from black to blonde and facial hair for men. From sparse to thick. Humans are often unorthodox in their dress, sporting unusual hairstyles, fanciful clothes and tattoos, and the like. Favorite class, any. When determining whether a multi-class human suffers an XP penalty, his highest level class does not count. So 3.5? Quick to master one extra feat at first level. Okay. Skill for four extra skill points at first level plus one additional skill point at each of the following levels. Okay. I'm gonna do sub races. Oh, I see. It's like a custom. Let's go do a normal, a normally human. Okay. Spells, feature skills. Okay. Portrait. See if we can find one we like. Oh, I like these. Yes. Oh, I really like that. But uh, not quite what I have in mind. Yes, perhaps. He seems a bit odd, though. I love portraits from these older games. So cool. Really well done. Okay. I like that one too, but we're human. Don't need elf. Yeah, some of these are really awesome. Hola. Okay. Perhaps. I haven't decided whether we want a sword and board or two hand it. That is the question. Perhaps both? Depends on the circumstances. Oh, I even got half orcs here. Okay. Oh my god. I'm getting, uh, Wheel of Time vibes. I think we just finished playing. That, uh, drow. I wonder if we could be a drow. I am curious. If we ever do another playthrough, we're definitely doing, uh, an evil playthrough. I, I love to do both. A halfling. I believe that may be our portrait. I really do like this one. It's just that the ears. Ooh, that one's pretty good too. And she looks like you. She fuck you up. Oh, that one's good. I like the rogue. The roguish vibes I'm feeling here. Could be a fighter too. Oh my god. Yep. Okay. I believe so. This is not bad either. To be honest. I like that one too. I have a boat. Yeah. That's a fucking paladin if I've ever seen one. Aside from the fact that we are doing a red hair. Because I like it. My, one of my favorite colors. The orangey red. Alright. So, we'll narrow it down here. Well, that's a fucking cleric or... Yeah. It's too many. Alright, so, we'll do this one. Nice samurai. Too many good ones here. Now bear with me. Um, this first video is 
going to be all about tutorial and character creation. So if you don't want to see any of this, I would suggest skipping to the next one. Usually the videos that I make, the very first ones are more introductory and uh, way more slow paced as we take our time here. That's a, that's a cleric or paladin too. The light kind of drowns out the hair as well, so it wouldn't be too bad. Not a fan of the earrings though. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. You know, I said we're going to narrow it down, but uh, then I keep seeing other ones, and I'm like, yeah, these are pretty good too. Yeah. I'm getting like... 80 billion character ideas looking at these. Yeah. Hello there. Oh my god. Fucking ranger and a half. Yeah, I'm really liking these drow ones. Or so they seem to me anyway. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. I was missing some because the scroll was really good. So, I'm I'm really digging this one. That's not bad either. I'm really digging this one. And it's making me think uh, two-handers. Alright. Seems holy. What on earth is this? Hello? Okay. Yes. That's not bad either. So many character ideas. Okay, so... I think I've narrowed it down to about three here. After clicking on a billion pictures. Yes, 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 yes. Four now. Okay. So, one. Two. This is a good potential too, but it seems to, uh, not holy enough. So, one, two, three, yikes, you hear, eh, four, five. I don't think the other ones are really that applicable. Alright, so not really a fan of that one. We'll take that one out. So this one. This is this one. This is this one. This is this one. Not bad. These two, I'm kind of digging. Not digging this one as much. I do like to see like a bit of heavy armor or some sort of holiness in the picture. So I'm digging that one because of the holiness. Same with this one because it's a little bit of both to be honest. That reminds me of a mage fighter, though. But I can't tell if... Yeah, that is armor, so maybe perhaps not. This one, I do like because of the the plate. Or scale, I should say. Well, yeah, a bit of plate. Um, <clears throat> I don't... It's not really... It's not really vibing with me. So... Perhaps... Like, this is fucking awesome. I really like this one. I need different hair color, though. They're all really... 
cool in their own ways though to be honest like come on like that's awesome i really cool i like art portraits are amazing doing uh old school vibes there thus we're old now don't you realize all right so perhaps this one i'm about to settle on it i think so This or this. This looks like more of like a short sword, and I don't think that's really what we're going to be going for, or a long sword. I think we're going to be doing more. It, it could be uh, something else there. It could be like a, a great sword. But to me, it doesn't seem like it. And this one does. And I'm liking the green and the green eyes, and the hair, you can hardly really tell. Kind of blondish reddish, so I think it works well. Oh, little kitty. Look at that. Look at that cat. Some of these portraits have to be added with the new. This is from my, I mean, to be. F yeah, come on. These, these are amazing. Well done. All right. We have decided. It took us all about five minutes. Perhaps longer, but we have done it. Alright. Now for the class. We are, of course, going to be a paladin. I am curious of the other ones, though. Prestige class. Interesting. What is this? The famous purple dragons of Cormier are regarded across Faerun as exemplars of disciplined, skilled, loyal soldiers. What are they? Purple Dragon Knight gains no additional proficiencies. Non evil. Dragon Knight. I, I don't recall these classes at all. Red Dragon Disciple. Interesting. Requirements. Casting. So maybe later down, I see. We can go into. Oh, we can be a black card. Oh. Very nice. Shifter. Like, some of these sound pretty cool. We can multi-class. Uh, I'm not sure if we can as a paladin, or in this game, maybe we can. I'm not sure. For mighty warriors who dedicate themselves to Torm's cause, defending holy ground, destroying enemies of the church, and slaying mythical beasts, Torm is a patron of paladins, an unswerving enemy of corruption and evil. Torm. Interesting. Seems like they are a paladin warrior, divine wrath. They have a bonus feat every second level. Sacred defense. They seem very paladin-ish. Okay, what's the difference here? Must be like subclasses or just like yeah, I mean the fact that we could probably just multi-class into other shit, right? So they're just more specialized. I don't know. I just don't recall seeing these at all. Like a lot of them. Like these ones I do. These are very common. Prestige class. Okay, so these are prestige classes. Okay. I'm not sure what prestiging means. Probably like hitting max level. Usually what prestige means. Alright. Paladins take their adventure seriously, and even mundane mission is, in the heart of the paladin, a personal test. An opportunity to dis demonstrate bravery, to learn tactics, and to do good in the world. Divine power protects these warriors of virtue. Warding off harm, protecting them from disease, healing them and their allies, and guarding against... Oh, guarding against fear. Divine power also guides their sword arm. Their sword arms. Guides their sword arms. Making them among the most effective warriors against undead and evil outsiders. The sentence seems very weird to me. Many of the paladin's special abilities also benefit from high charisma score. Burr. Cast a spell, a paladin must have a wisdom score of 10 plus. Noted. The spell's level, for example, to cast a second level spell, a paladin must have a wisdom of 12. Charisma and wisdom. Okay. Lawful good only. Not a big deal. Simple weapons. Yep. Spell casting, wisdom based, armor related chance of spell failure is ignored. 
Paladin. A Paladin that is no longer a lawful good cannot gain levels until their alignment is a lawful good again. Yes. Well, our alignment is lawful good. We can change that. Alright. Now, one of the hardest parts. We like high charisma. I have a feeling, though, we're not going to be able to do much with it. We'll try to get... Decent amount of strength here and dex and con. We'll try to be well balanced. I have a feeling that it might be a bit difficult. So minus 10. So. I don't know if it is the same as the. Uh, Plus modif well, I mean, it tells you right here, so it's a plus two modifier, right? So. It could be a little bit weak in constitution. Can we get a plus three? Or do we need plus two points? Is that is that the modifier, or how many points that we can... Uh... Yeah, okay, so it's still... I'm just curious. It seems like it's the points to increase, but I wonder if that's... Oh, it's right here. Ability modifier. Yes. Okay. Don't want to be too charismatic. Alright. What would they recommend? Yeah. I want to do... We can get... Plus three. That'd be great. Well, not the brightest, but, uh, I don't, I'm, you know, I'm pretty sure, like, nine, you're unable to, yeah, lower than nine means your character is unable to speak properly. Okay, so we're, we're, we're gonna at least do nine, but, uh, past that. We'll do ten, okay, it'll be completely just stupid. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see how it plays out. This is one of the most... I'm consuming parts for me typically, so we'll see how it plays out. Hmm. We like our strength. The dex is good. Yes. You just keep it at a zero. Ah. Uh. I want the wisdom plus two. Yeah, I do. I really do, though. We could sacrifice more charisma. Plus one. Yeah, that's looking better. I'm okay with that. Question is, do we want more talking power or more strength? Hmm. Yeah, I like that. Especially if we're doing a two-hander. The low con is gonna hurt, though. That's the thing, you know? Well-rounded or a little bit more specialized? I think we'll be okay if we uh, manage our tools correctly. That low con's gonna hurt, though, like it is. Oh, 12, 12. Yeah. We could lose a dex. Oh, this is a uh, difficult. Hmm. 17 strength, though. It would hit really hard. Well, to be fair, we're not the brightest. Common sense, perception, intuition, ability to analyze information. Absent minded professor has a low wisdom. <laughs> Absent minded professor has a low wisdom. <laughs> That's funny. I really do want to cast spells. 
not sure if it's worth the wisdom buff though. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Perhaps it's not. But perhaps it is. Alright. I mean, we could even out, but I do... I think dex would be more important. But I'm not sure how important. More hit points, the better, right? I'm just, I'm curious, like, for hitting, if if I remember correctly, or this affects AC also. No modifiers whatsoever. a tough one yeah like as much as I want to do talking I feel like this is all right my hardest point of contention is this dex and con most important for rogues yes 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 we're not going to be wearing that much light or medium. I think we'll be okay. And if anything, like, I'm sure we'll find items to compensate, right? It almost makes me want to just, like, go into uh, strength and even ditch this con. But no, we're going to need as many hit points as possible. And I feel like this is all right, albeit a little bit risky. So I think we'll settle with this. This looks okay to me. I'm sure you'll scream at me later in the comments otherwise. No. But it's too late. We can't go back. We must only go forward. Yeah. Do it. Yes. I mean, we have no negatives on our rolls. I'm okay with that. Typically, I do go with some negatives. Okay, packages. Well, we're gonna... Can we do our own? Configure. Ah, yes we can. Okay, let's see what you recommend. Our spells, that makes sense. And create armor, interesting. Heal. The healer must make a successful check against their DC. Use a healing kit, cure wounds, and heal poisons and diseases. Well, I, I don't feel like we need that. Lore. That's ah, okay. Parry allows the character to block incoming attacks and make spectacular counterattacks. Just like a stance or just an automatic thing? Ability, dexterity. <laughs> so, uh, what we didn't go into. Is it uh, like a mode? Uh, I think it's a mode. Yeah, so it's like the parry mode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think we're going to do that. I think Persuade, though. I only do four. I'll do Charisma. Sorry. Identify spells and perform counter spells. Not us. Humble. Roll away? Well, we're not that. We're going to be wearing heavy armor. Fine. We could do Intimidate a little bit also. I don't feel it's very paladinish. It's discipline. Resist a combat disarm, cold shot, or knockdown. Ooh, that might be good. Go to the attacker's automatic strength. That would be really good. Concentrate, I do want to keep. I am not sure how effective it is at lower levels. I feel like we could go into this later. Or if anything, just do like, you know, a couple points. We'll see. We'll see what else we have. Bluff. Yeah, praise. The price received when selling or purchasing goods. Well, praise might actually be really good for us. 
especially with our charisma. Once the merchant's appraise skill, if the merchant wins, the character pays more for the goods in the store. If the character wins, they pay less. The first time the player interacts with the merchant dictates the prices in the store. I really feel like that would be alright. But there's probably better things. Spot. Feels a hidden creature. Coming by the high check. I'm I'm okay with not spotting creatures. Because they'll they'll come to us if needed. I can't go and persuade anymore. Won't listen. And creatures again. Okay. Not concerned about hiding. Successful, the target is healed and cured a number of HP equal to the skill roll, plus all modifiers. If the target suffers no poisons or diseases, it's still cured of damage. Use healing kit on wounded creatures. Like, maybe. Maybe. I'm curious as to how this works. Hector first needs to create a component required for the item he wants to create from the base materials. Yes. It's going down by selecting the craft weapon option in the materials radial member menu. Each weapon is constructed from two different components, a larger and smaller one, in that need to be assembled in order to finish crafting process. To assemble two components, use the craft weapon option. Okay, okay. A new item will be created in the character's inventory. Note that it is not possible to create magic items with your crafting skill. Ah, so then I'm not as interested with that. We'll see. Okay, so... The parry seems interesting, but I don't feel like it's for us. Taunt, perhaps, but I don't know about that one either. So, for sure, I think we're going to do a pr praise. I'm going to do two, which is fine. And I think we're going to go into con concentration. Concentration. That pretty much sums it up from there. Persuade, a little talkity, cheaper prices, and we can at least cast without getting completely fucked, hopefully. This should help. Avoid casting failure. And three meters of an enemy. I feel like that would be a thing. Oh, that's pretty good too. So, perhaps we'll do... I'm not sure how often we'll be knocked down. But I'd rather not be. These two seem very important. We could go for a praise later. I feel like this would be very helpful, especially with our uh, alignment. It will help us get better gear quicker. That could be all of the difference, right? Uh, DC equal to yeah. So I th well maybe we'll split this. I think because like I said, I'm not sure how many how many spells we're gonna get at the beginning. I think maybe just one, if any at all. I mean, we could always go into this later. And I'm sure we're going to get a plethora of health potions. From what I recall. So it's not like that big of a deal for us. Whereas this would be more detrimental. I think this is alright for now. And then we'll, uh, we'll adjust as we level. Okay. So these are like a must, I'm assuming. Yep. So we do got heavy. So we do have lay on hands right away, right? So we do. We do have spell casting, divine health, into disease, and grace. Adds a Christmas bonus, a positive to all saving throws. Perfect. We can mount shield proficiency. So we can use shields too, so that's good. Pick the master. What does this mean? Human. Right, right, right. Okay. Don't care about that. Blind fight. The feat grants the character the ability to fight well, even if blinded or against invisible creatures. That is really handy. Blooded. Let's do bonus on initiative. I'm okay with not having that. Resisting taunts. Okay with that. Oh, is it? I've never seen this before in my life. Okay, lore. Great fortitude. Favoring throws. Initiative. 
there as much. Iron will. Seems good. Knockdown. Hmm. Attempt to knock his melee opponents to the ground. Victor makes an attack roll. This could be handy. Plus two bonus to reflex saving throws. These are all really good power attack. Two power attack. Character with his feet can make a powerful but ungainly attack. When a power attack is selected, it grants a plus five bonus to damage roll, but it costs five, minus five to attack roll. That might be handy. We'll see. Silver palm? Appraise and persuade checks. Okay, yeah. How many do we get? Just one? Okay, two. Perhaps. This was the persuade? Yep. Go focus. Is this plus three on all checks with it? Adept at a certain skill. Hmm. Make blood. Strong soul. Hmm. weapon fighting. I think we're just going to use the two-hander, if anything, sword and shield. Weapon focus. Ooh, yep. This might be really good. And then we could go into, uh... We could go into power attack, then. Particularly scared with a specific weapon, gaining a plus one attack. Bonus with it. Maybe select multiple times, but the effects do not stack. It applies to a new weapon in each case. Yes, a great sword. We really don't need these ones, eh? Because we're like really... Or as a paladin, we're immune, are we not? Fine health. Immune to disease. Immune to disease, but not... Uh, poison. That might be handy later. We need finesse. Alright. Getting one bonus hit point per level. Hit points are gained retroactively when choosing the feat. That might be interesting later. Persuade checks. Plus two bonus on persuade checks. Hmm. And initiative. So, the ones I'm interested in right now are the power attack, the silver, silver palm right now. So the character gains plus two bonus on a prey. Okay, so it helps with persuade and, and whereas the other one is uh, initiative. I'm not is it this? this one. Initiative checks, yeah. Okay. I am feeling like power attack and weapon focus are probably good. Ooh, lucky of heroes. What the fuck is this? Saving throws, okay. And the knockdown. Knockdown was looking really good too. There's a few that are good. We'll do weapon focus. And we are going to go for a greatsword. I feel like the greatsword will be this playthrough. Just according to our portraits and our feel like hacking and slashing a bit more than usual sword and boarding. Alright. Greatsword. One to attack. And then we'll do the power attack. Plus five bonus to damage roll. Seems like that'll be really handy. I am just curious though, what they would recommend. <laughs> exactly that. Interesting. <laughs> That's funny. Alright, well, this is the great sword. Alright. Are we done? Customize. Ah, yes. Oh my. Can we turn the character at all? No, we cannot. Where are the tattoos on this one? No tattoos? Okay, so tattoos, yeah. There's no tattoos on... Oh, down here? No? Yes. I see. Okay. Interesting. Alright, I suppose some tattoos are fine.
Oh my. A lot of pods here. Oh, what the? What? What? <laughs> the, the gradient ones are definitely interesting. Okay. Uh, light pink. The lightest. The lightest of the palettes, if we can. We may. And then... There's already pretty good. Here's on the gradients, though. Interesting. More brown. Not particularly what I'm looking for. Wanji hat. The tattoo colors. Okay, so... This will actually help stand out the tattoos. Curious. Okay. There we are. Okay. I see. Okay. okay. We don't have to go full board. Not like we're ever going to see them. Alright. I like this one, I think. I'm not like a huge fan of the tribe. The tribal ones on the arms there, like the armbands. But... Oh, just do the legs. I think so. Yeah. I like the legs. Oh, okay. So you can have like high. Interesting. That's pretty cool. I like that. Okay. So then, let's see here. An emerald, emerald green. Perhaps. Seems more pine-ish. Yeah. Yeah. I do like it though. And then... Yeah, the, the gold's not bad. What if we reverse the color? Pretty cool. Alright. White actually stands out a bit too. Oh, the box looks good. I would be okay with the uh, the purple. Violet. Once again, like I said, we're probably never going to see these. All right. For the glory of hell. No, Torm. For the glory of Torm. All right, clothing. Ooh. Very scholarly. <laughs> I really like this. We'll go in completely. What on earth, dude? That is hella barbarish. I like it. That's not bad either. And we're just going to go in with the Disciple. Alright, make sure our head is the way we want it. You just go bald, fuck it. Oh my, okay, so uh, very half-orcish. So they do a, not very many options here. It is all the game. What can you expect, right? Excuse me? <laughs> what if I change the clothing? It's funny. Uh, perhaps it's hard to tell with the ears there. It's orcish. It's not bad. Like I can't rotate at all, so I'm really I. This is what we have to work with. Yes, the Karen. Like a tiefling with horns there? And an eye patch. I don't need those tattoos. This looks okay. Not a fan of the dreads. I think we're gonna go with this. Alright. That's okay too, but... 
My bad. The hair color. That seems more reddish, but it's not. More blondish. Yes, I am indeed colorblind. Ah, right. Just the different uh, hairstyles. I change it up a bit. Understood. It looks like a newer one with like the way it's like modeled com in comparison to like the other ones. Like this seems new, but I could be wrong. And the eye patch kind of seems newish, but also could be wrong. This one does too. can't rotate. I can't see if it's a full Karen cut or our hair's longer than that or not. What on earth is going on here? This looks okay. Let's see a ponytail. Also looks like we get a beard though with that. This one seems okay too. So that one, or... Yeah, that one, like, full beard mode. Can't tell. I can't tell what's going on here. Okay, I'm sure we'll be frustrated. Oh, there we go. That one actually goes back, I think. Again, with the beard. Alright, well, we'll play it safe. I think we'll do this one. Can't tell because of the ears again. Right on. There's our paladin. At my command, attack! Oh my. Okay. To the fight! Give new quarter! No. Nope. To the fight! Onward! Ah. Uh. The good of all! Eh. By the mother's wrath! You have to fight! Come on! No. At the enemy! Attack! Um, yeah. Oh, victory! I will win the day! Bring it on! Oh, I need healing. Eh. Quickly now. At their throats! I'll see you cut asunder! This is not bad. You breathe your last! Only I will walk away! My wounds must be healed. I need help here. Now! I see the quarry. The enemy is here. Cold killer for a paladin. And somehow it's kind of fitting. Away. Retreat. This fight is lost. Come to me. I await you here. Step up to the fight. I hope you like pain. I'll put you in your place. I always get my way. Someone heal me, please? Won't someone help me here? I see them. This doesn't look good. Come now. Let's see what you've got. You'll be sure to guard me. Eh. All right, I says you attack. No. Kill them. Kill them all. I'll tear you apart. Ah! <laughs> oh boy, I really like that one, but I don't think it fits. Coward! Oh, somebody patch me up quickly! Don't just stand there. Help me. Trespassers, get them. Think you can take me? Bring it on. Get ready to be beaten by a girl. Oh my. Come on, it's time to take out- Ha! Take that! All right, crew. Let's take them down. Uh, what? There's more where that came from. This seems off. This must be new. This is too easy. We have no choice. Surrender. Or prepare to meet your end. Uh, uh, yep. Strike you down. Or fall in the attempt. You must fall. For the greater good. Oh, 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 yeah, come on. My injuries are taxing my strength. Please, heal me at once, my friends. I call on you for help. Be wary. There are hostile forces nearby. Yes. This is uh, this and cold. We'll see. No time for talking. Let's get to the... No. Some fights cannot be avoided. This wound won't heal soon. 
Time to break some bones! That will leave a mark. Mm. My injuries need ten. I could use some assistance. I have spotted our foe. We need to retreat. You pathetic waste of flesh. Oh my. <laughs> I like that one, dude. Protect me for a moment. I think you should wait here. Ha! 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 Oh! Oh! <laughs> my injury. <sighs> Foul poison taints my blood. My spell has failed. No effect. I'm I will take the lead. You need to see this. We should join together. I'll ask you to move aside. Hmm. Kind of. Blarms, feel my stick. I will not be defeated. Your blood shall spill. I have need of healing. Can I get some help here? The enemy is near. No. Follow me. Take that. This Nira sounds like Nira from Baldur's Gate. For glory. To the maiden. To follow me. Take that. For glory. I shall be victorious. I need healing. All right. So, hold. Killer and quiet leader. At their throats, cut them down. I'll see you cut asunder. You breathe your last. Only I will walk away. My wounds must be healed. I need help here. Mm. Now. I see the quarry. Away. Retreat. This fight is lost. Come to me. I await you here. Guard me well. Yeah. Not relinquish this spot. <laughs> <laughs> Here, look this way. Gather here. Form up. Move your carcass aside. This lock needs to be carefully disabled. Take careful notice searching this place. Mm, like, it's not bad, but I think... Have no choice, sir. I will strike you down. You must fall for the greater good. Yeah, the quiet leader just fits way too well. All right, let's do it. All right. Now... Age-wise, probably say do 24, 24-ish. 25, 24, 26, 28. Quiet leader. My injuries attack my Be quickly. Withdraw at once. We cannot succeed at this moment. Sounds kind of naive. All right. Uh, we're just going to do... Extol. No last name. Maybe we don't know our last name. Usually, like in games like this, I always roll with the main alias. Extol wants to do the paladin. And then our playthroughs, I tend to create more characters. But I think for this one, we'll just keep it like this. We don't... Do we need a last name? Find out, I suppose. Name of di Deity? I wonder if this is the cust yeah, it's just like a custom one, I suppose. Interesting. We could go with Torm tier. Um Perhaps we'll just leave it blank. I wonder if we can edit this later. I'd like to see if there was a, a list here. As I'm not quite sure. I'll, I'll cut the video here, and then, uh, I'll, I'll see what's up. You're back. Alright, welcome back. I'm not really sure if this has any significance or not, but, uh, I mean, looking at the prestige classes, we might go into Torm. So, and it just, it seems fitting. So, I suppose we'll do Torm. I just want to make sure that I spelt that right. I believe it's Torm. We'll, we'll find out. One sec. All right, welcome back again. All right, it is. That's how you spell it. All right. And I think we are done for this little introductory video. So, hit OK. And then, uh, I suppose, play. And then uh, we'll do a save, and then we'll get into it. So, let's see what happens. The Frozen North. The name given to the stark and unforgiving frontier that lies beyond the high moor of Faerun. A bleak wilderness where barbarian clans and tribes of giants roam the land and fierce dragons rule the skies. 
But amidst the frozen savagery stands a bastion of civilization, the city of Neverwinter, jewel of the north. Behind the city's high walls, those both hardy and brave carve out an existence from this bleak land under the guidance and protection of the legendary hero, Lord Nasher Alagonda. Yet there are some things that all the courage in the world cannot stand against. A virulent plague swept the city. A terrible affliction that began in the beggar's nest. Soon, all of Neverwinter would feel the touch of the wailing death. The disease could not be cured. Panic ensued. The streets erupted into violence. The Jewel of the North was brought to its knees. To save Neverwinter, Lady Aribeth de Tilmoran, Paladin of Tyr, and Lord Nash's right hand put forth the call for a champion. A rush of would-be heroes answered her call, some drawn by promises of grandeur and glory, others by the lure of gold. Those with the greatest potential were initiated into the academy to train and study under the greatest minds of Neverwinter, all in the hopes a champion might emerge to save the city from the wailing death and whatever sinister force might be behind it. I did a way better job of narrating than I ever could. That was pretty good. Well, we're in the game. We're going to do a save. Save. We're going to call it Let's Play Never Winter Nights. Enhanced Edition. All right. Save. There we are. And with that, I'll see you in the next video. And we'll begin.